up everybody welcome back to my channel and million talks let's talk about it in today's video i will be doing a six month veneer update okay so i got my veneers june the 21st and today is actually december 20th and i wanted to make sure that i uploaded this video exactly at six months so by the time i finish editing and doing like a few touches to it i will basically be uploading this video tomorrow which is december 21st and i will be at six months with having my veneers. So I would basically like to discuss if you haven't already seen my veneer videos, how I guess my life has changed or if my teeth have changed in regards to like some pros and some cons. So if you are interested and you are thinking about getting veneers but you're unsure, then this video is for you. Make sure you ask any questions. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you go ahead and click on that subscribe button. So first, I will just go over the top three pros that I think. And even though people have been asking me a lot of questions in regards to my veneers and, you know, like, for example, if I have a photo shoot and someone was just like, oh, your smile is really pretty. The first thing I'm going to say is that I have veneers. I'm not ashamed to say that. I don't mind telling people, you know, oh, I have veneers. And and I don't know if I'm doing like too much because I'm volunteering that information instead of just, you know, receiving the compliment. But I feel like I have to let people know that give me the compliment, know that these are veneers, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to take the credit away from the compliment. So if someone asks me, you, I mean, not ask me. So if someone does say, hey, your teeth are really pretty. I'm like, oh yeah, I got veneers. And then they be like, oh, you got veneers? Yes, I got veneers. And they be like, wow, they did a good job. Like who... Who did this and who did that? So if you are interested, you know, just make sure you go to the videos down below and I will go oh, over the cost, where I went, how many days I had, you know, whether my teeth were shaved and all of that. I went over all of that. So I will link them down in the description box below. So the top three things that I say improved or is a pro for me in regards to getting veneers is number one, my confidence, um, my overall appearance of my teeth, my teeth where people were saying that, oh, girl, you don't need veneers or, oh, girl, because I think I was, like, posting some stories on it saying, hey, I'm going to Miami to get veneers or, hey, I'm going to do this. And they were like, girl, your teeth look fine. Um, so I would say the top pro for me, for me, is my appearance, okay? Um, the second pro uh, for me, I would say, is the cost. The cost was not that bad, and they always have promotions. I know somebody hit me up in my DMs and was like, 10 grand, 12 grand. Um, how much did you pay? And I'm just like, it's on my YouTube video. I know people don't want to sit through the rigmarole of listening to someone talk or go on and on about, you know, you know, they just want the straight answer in regards to, hey, my how, how much they cost? And then I, I guess you want me to tell you, but that's the whole reason why I do YouTube videos is because I'm trying to help you. So if I feel like the information is informative to you, I'm going to direct you to go watch my videos because I covered all of that. And sometimes it just get a little overwhelming when people ask me the same thing over and over. It's like a repetitive thing. And I'm not a mean person. I'm actually a nice person. But when I have like five different people ask me, well, how much did your veneers cost? And then I told all five of those people. And then next week I have some more people asking the same thing. My veneers was 65K, okay? Um, 65K and somebody would be like, oh, well, they told me it was this and they told me it was that. Like my situation is different. I got my veneers doing a promotion. I didn't even get my veneers doing the, uh, the promotion. I seen them and I researched them. And then they, at that time, they was having a promotion. So like they was having a back to school promotion. Um, they even, even currently have a promotion going on right now. And you don't have to um, pay the 10 or 12K. And you can just lock in that promote promotion rate, which I think right now is at $5,000. So you will basically say, hey, I want to get my veneers. Go ahead and schedule me for this day and that time. Um, or they will schedule you and then you'll tell them if that works best for you based off of your schedule or if you can take vacation days or whatever. But they will lock you in for that price. And then you can work on, you know, making the payments over time or paying everything all at one time or using a credit card. Like I use the Ampion financing um credit card to help me with my veneers and like I said in a previous video I paid off my car which was 480 bucks a month and I'm just taking my car payment and applying them towards my veneers until I pay it off okay and the third thing that I will say is um first thing I said was my confidence like I feel really great about my appearance like it just makes me feel so good knowing that I can wake up look in the mirror and that my teeth are like bright white the second thing is the cost. The cost wasn't too ridiculous, boohoo crazy to where I felt like I was going to be, you know, stressed out about how much I'm making to pay off some veneers. And the third thing I, I felt like was the color. My teeth are white. 
white. That was the, the, the top thing that I was looking for when I got my veneers. I had braces. I had a retainer that I kept losing, throwing in the trash. The military kept paying for me to get different retainers. I just... I just couldn't do it and I felt like me paying for my braces was a waste because I paid $2,500 and they didn't even really, they made my teeth tight, but the appearance was still like not bright white. Um, and that was pretty much it. I feel like getting braces was a waste of money for me because I felt like if I would have known or have known about veneers when I first started about getting braces, I would not have gotten braces. And everybody's opinions are different. Some people have to get braces because their teeth are just, you know, affected in a way that they just need to get the braces first and then move over to the veneers. I don't know. I felt like the way that my teeth were, I just had like a few spaces here and there and it closed the gap. And that was pretty much it. But the top three things is one, my confidence, two, the price, and three, the color bright white okay now in regards to the cons because i just went over the pros the cons of having veneers is i experienced sensitivity for like two weeks straight um it's just recently started getting cold and when it started getting cold i would go to pt formation because i'm in the military like this like i did not want nobody to talk to me if they spoke of course i'm like hey if nobody spoke to me in formation of course they'd be like hey ma'am how you doing i'm like hey you know like good morning but other than that this is how I walked around like this, y'all. Because my teeth were sensitive. They was cold. Like, and they stay sensitive to, like, cold things because I love chewing on ice. So, I would chew on ice, but in the back because it was the front. It was this tooth right here and this one. At the bottom, those two teeth were the ones that were sensitive. The rest of my teeth did not hurt. And I felt like it had something to do with my veneers because before that, I never had sensitivity. And the way that I was able to fix that is because I did some research and I was told to use Sensodyne toothpaste. And when I brush my teeth, do not rinse. Don't use like Listerine, no nothing. Just, you know, brush your teeth and go about your business. And I did that for a few days and the sensitivity just went away on its own. And so you might have to deal with sensitivity. I did. It might not affect you like I affected me, but I was in some pain. Another con for me... Um, which I said was the pain, um, as far as like the sensitivity, I only had to deal with that for like a week, two weeks. Another con for me is dental floss. So when I initially got my veneers, you know, I never really carried dental floss around on me like that, but now I carry like the floss sticks, you know, dental floss, all of that, because I have food, like if I eat a salad or whatever, that just sits in between my teeth because my teeth are so tight. Like, so being that my teeth are so tight, the food is sitting right here because they don't have nowhere to go. It'll be different if like you didn't have braces or you had gaps and then you ate something and the food went in between your gaps or in between your spaces and you wouldn't really notice it. But every time I eat something, I will have food that don't, doesn't necessarily sit on top. It just depends on what I'm eating. So the food will get stuck in between here, like in between like the little crevices and then... You know, I would be at work and I have dental floss and I'm just like, like maybe one or two people say like, hey, man, like you got something stuck right here. Or, hey, maybe. So now I take dental floss everywhere I go. And I wouldn't want to say that that is a con. But for me, initially, um, now that I'm thinking about it, it was a con because I never used to carry dental floss around. But now I carry dental floss at all times and I floss every single time um, that I eat, no matter what I'm eating, because. It's embarrassing to walk around with food in your mouth. And another con, the last con that I would say is not getting my caps done first before I got my veneers, which I don't even think it matters. I don't think my teeth are going to shift. But being that I came up through the military, going to the dentist, they always want to tell you, oh, you need to crown this or oh, you have a feeling here, 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 here. Boom. So I'm going to show you all the back of my teeth and I'm going to show you all what I'm talking about. So I have a crown over here. And when I talk, and, depending on like if I'm laughing or if I open my mouth too wide while I'm talking, like you will see those crowns. And I'm just like, okay, so how come the dentist didn't want to give me white crowns? Because I know that is an option. They wanted to give me gold crowns. I don't know. And then I have some cavities over here, which I'm going to try to go see if I can get those um, covered with like the white instead of having like the gold or the silver um, and the reason why I say that as a con is because I probably should have gotten that done first because when you go get veneers, they do the top 10 and the bottom 10 across. And so being that I have the 10, then you can see those cavities or the crowns on this side. So it's a con for me because I'm not completely perfect, even with the veneers. 
So I'm gonna go get those done and I'm gonna give y'all an update or not really an update. I'm letting y'all know now that I'm going because I'm letting y'all know now that I am going to go get them changed out. So I'm, you know, basically going to change them out and then they'll be white and then my teeth will be perfect. And then also um, make sure y'all continue following me and subscribing for whatever reason, being that I'm not talking about like military related videos no more. Like my views are not where they need to be. And I know a lot of people felt like I was helping them, which I can still do, but I just ask that you don't, don't, um, comment, you know, down below, like send me a DM on Instagram or just email me or whatever. And I can tell you or call you or whatever. But in regards to like military videos, I feel like my views have went down tremendously because people don't want to watch what I'm talking about, but I am still going to do YouTube regardless because I, that's just something that I like to do. Like I like to help people. I'm also doing this fitness journey. So you know, if you have not subscribed, then make sure you subscribe and, you know, just give this video a thumbs up if you, if you thought that it was helpful for you because that's what I'm trying to do. And if y'all have anything that y'all feel like I should be making content on in regards to like my niche or whatever, I already said I was trying to decide on if I want to be vegan or vegetarian and then I'm also going on my fitness journey. But uh, you can follow me at Amelia G5587 on Instagram and... You can also follow me on Facebook or just make sure you subscribe, okay? Because I am still here for you all. But this concludes today's video. Until next time, this is Millie Talks. Let's talk about it. Peace.